uh, okay so uh, if if nobody else uh, would like to share about uh, their experience with concept mapping i'll go straight into the um, what i had planned for today so um, to start off um, let us look at the topic or the concept which you have chosen so um, i was told that each of you have chosen one topic for your e content development um so you just take a few minutes and try to think of all the ideas that come to your mind with respect to that topic and you can note it down you can write it down um if you're using your laptop that's great you can write it down in a in a text document um if you are if you would prefer to write it on paper that's also okay uh you can also share it in the chat so uh please go ahead and do this uh and then we will start to think about how we can organize these ideas uh, meaningfully so just if you could spend 5 minutes to do this small exercise uh it will help us to then understand uh you know and proceed with uh concept mapping and doing that digitally ideas ma'am uh, ideas in the sense we have to uh like from the topic sub topics like that we have to create or what are the things yeah like for uh, what is your topic ma'am the topic, topic which you have chosen uh public policy ma'am india un under that i'm planning to concentrate on india's foreign policy okay so whatever is connected to that ma'am um it could be in terms of um, like a theoretical base it could be in terms of recent developments in the foreign policy it could be uh, um the administrative aspect of it uh, all of those things ma'am you can just note it down so uh, i would suggest that you note it down in your uh, uh, like a text document i think all of you have used uh, libreoffice or even if you are using a word uh, you know um microsoft word you can just uh, note it down in that so that it will be helpful to use it uh, for creating your mind map okay ma'am thank you ma'am yeah i'll just give everybody uh, around 5 7 minutes for this if you have any questions if you have uh, any doubt you can um, ask uh, is there anybody who uh has not understood what we want to do would you like me to repeat it or would you like me to uh, i'm sorry i speak uh, i don't speak malayalam <laughs> i speak uh, hindi i speak kannada um so i can explain it i also don't speak tamil unfortunately uh <laughs> but uh, i can repeat it uh, or somebody else can you know translate in case anybody is uh, prefers to understand it in a different language uh, myro is a collaborative concept uh, mapping tool if i'm not, if i'm not wrong yes right. um but this is a, a desktop ap application that we're talking about uh i think uh, you had um, got received a message from us uh, right, asking right. to install something right. called free plane yes. so yes. i'm sure everybody has installed free plane this is something which works offline as well uh so you don't uh, necessarily you know need to be in a good uh, place you know where where you have good network and things like that there are also certain features in free plane which are not uh, there in myro and vice versa so um we okay. just felt we could introduce you to this tool as well uh, and i'm not sure in yesterday's session was the focus largely on the tool itself or was it also on um why the the idea of concept mapping itself and how it uh, aids yeah, thinking so had actually asked us to um, identify topics uh, sub subject i mean sub topics and topics of whatever we want to do in mm -hmm. our uh, uh, modal assignment okay. so we have more or less worked in that direction so we can kind of uh, work on or probably um, you know in improvise on what we have done yesterday right it's i just wanted to get a heads up on that sure sure that is uh, that is definitely possible if you would prefer to use that tool uh, i will be just introducing you to this tool today and also making some connections between uh, how concept mapping is um, you know it's a tool to aid thinking itself so whether that's analytical thinking or lateral thinking or creative thinking so i think i think let's let's begin 
uh, I'll just take you through a couple of ideas. Now, as I was saying, I'm trying to connect uh, why we are using concept mapping and how it is connected to thinking. So um, concept mapping can really be used to build thinking skills. Now, uh, we are all aware that, you know, our uh, sometimes a lot of us face challenges with the current education system because our exams uh, from like you know the primary and the uh, higher secondary and the higher secondary stage also uh, focus a lot on uh, testing the knowledge and the memory of students uh, you know rather than um, testing their thinking skills and uh, in the recent past a lot of there has been a lot of conversation around this there has been a lot of research there has been a lot of uh, writing on, you know, um, instilling other skills like analytical thinking, synthetical thinking, creative thinking, and critical thinking in students, right? Uh, and that is something that should be uh, there, like inherently as part of the curriculum. Um, so I think that the uh, the use of a concept map is not just, uh, you know, in terms of again putting out the knowledge. And that is something I wanted to get into today because uh, as many of you have listed your topics and subtopics and uh, things like that, when we start to make our concept map, I would like to also explore how uh, it's not just about listing out, you know, uh, the topic and the subtopics. It's about uh, also using that to uh, see relationships between the different ideas to bring together um, ideas and uh, think about how a particular issue can be addressed. It's also about making connections and all, and analyzing issues. Uh, for instance, if there is a problem that we want to arrive at a solution about, or you know, uh, talking about assumptions. Of course, depending on your discipline, there are different um, questions that would come up there. For instance, in a in a subject like history, there are so many different controversies in history, right? So how do we address those and how do we, um, you know, include that uh, as part of our uh, pedagogy and allow students the opportunity to, um, you know, question or uh, just uh, uh, know the different um, schools of thought that are out there and then um, sort of also recognize and acknowledge the controversy or the um, the point with, which is in question, right? And the point which can be further um, thought about and critically and analyzed. So um, that is the objective of uh, using concept maps as far as uh, we are concerned. Um, so going into how to create a concept map, uh, we'll just briefly go through the steps and then we'll come back to it when we are trying out our individual maps. But um, uh, I think all of you have installed Freeplane, the application. Um, there is a there is a link that has been shared with you as well uh, on uh, using free, uh, sorry, learning how to use Freeplane. So this is the link and um, it's given here on, I, I think I can add it in the chat as well. Uh, yeah, Harish sir has added it in the chat. Thank you. Uh, so that is the link that you can click on to uh, go and learn, uh, you know, how to use Freeplane as an application. We'll go through it together today, but later on, in case you have any doubts, in case uh, you want to continue to use the application, because, you know, it's not possible within just an hour or two to master the entire thing. I'm sure after afterwards, after this session, you might want to go back and refer and, you know, create different types of uh, concept maps. So this page will be very useful for you. Um, the basic uh, ideas that we will talk about now are about like inserting nodes and uh, typing the text and things like that. Uh, what you might have done in this Miro application yesterday, we will do something uh, similar here, but we will also explore the different uh, options that we have in this application. Uh, and then we will also look at formatting uh, the concept map uh, and exporting it into different formats. So, um, you know, you can export it as an image, you can uh, export it as a text document. Now, this is one of the advantages I feel uh, is there in uh, Freeplane, which um, I think is, is definitely not there in Miro, right? Because uh, any online application would require you to connect to the internet and use it online, whereas this can be exported into these different formats and then uh, you can share it across uh, with colleagues, with students, um, 
uh, it also really promotes the whole idea that we were discussing yesterday about open education resources, right? Because the concept map which you make, that itself becomes a resource. Um, and I think that um, I'm not sure uh, if, um, uh, like many many of you have said you are familiar with the idea, but uh, I remember uh, when, when I was in my uh, undergraduate uh, course and studying at that time, um, I would not be able to study just by reading from the text and I used to make notes. Uh, at that time, of course, I didn't have uh, the the digital idea or the possibility to do that, but um, I used to draw out uh, these kind of things in my in my notebook or in my notes, right? While I was studying, because I think many learners are not able to just absorb through text. Uh, as we know, there are different kinds of learners, and many learners are visual learners, and they learn much better with like a graphical representation of something. And therefore, uh, this mind map that you create could become a very good resource for students, and students could. Uh, you know, add on their own thoughts and ideas to the map as well. Uh, they could use it. Um, your students could create their own uh, mind maps for different topics, you know, and then collaboratively sort of bring them together and use them uh, for the purpose of study or, you know, uh, discussions and group learning. So um, what we need to remember is that when we are creating our mind maps, we will be focusing on these few things. Um, ideating, categorizing, ordering, and then elaborating. Uh, I will take you through these uh, processes in a few minutes because we will be together uh, trying to create one mind map and then uh, see how it can be done. Um, and then just how it helps, as I mentioned, uh, you know, brainstorming on a topic in groups. For instance, if you are teaching online or even if you are teaching in person in a classroom and you are using your laptop and a projector, uh, it may be very useful to brainstorm on a topic and list out all the ideas that are coming up, you know, and later those can be uh, divided into sub -con uh, concepts. They can be connected to one another. Um, we can organize them in relation to maybe some older concepts or something uh, or the change in the in the thinking that has happened over the last few years for instance uh, ma'am gave the example of <coughs> you know the uh, the history of strategic man management and maybe how it used to be used um, during by the military in wars and things like that and now what is the what is the the new meaning of such a uh, concept as uh, strategic management and where is where is it being used um, and then of course presenting the ideas graphically like I mentioned for a lot of people that really helps to um, understand concepts and make connections rather than just reading it as a, a plain text or a whole you know host of pages one uh, after another um, I think in the current context many uh, many students actually find it difficult to read uh, at least that's something i've observed like if you give them a, a a 10 page like research paper or even an article to read and come uh, for the class uh, I, I think they find it very challenging because it's um, you know it's something that's maybe they've just not built the habit or they've lost the habit of it or they're used to uh, you know getting everything in these small bites <laughs> sizes nowadays so again <coughs> maybe excuse me maybe the concept map will be something that uh, you know really helps them to uh, organize their ideas um, and it will certainly support their individual learning as well as co collaboration and resource creation as well as their assessment so for instance uh, you know, if um, students are given an assignment where uh, they have to, you know, work on some project together, uh, they can definitely create a mind map or a concept map as one of the components of that uh, assignment and things like that. Um, so this is just, you know, taking you through the, the ideas that I had. And now we will all go into, yeah. So uh, I think there's a conversation happening about the installation. Uh, I'll just maybe give you a few minutes. How many people have not installed the application yet? Is anybody facing any challenges?
Ma'am, we already uh, installed that, but it is not opening now. Okay. Uh, what exactly is the challenge you're facing, sir? It, it is properly not installing. Okay. Um, maybe if you could click on the link, uh, which is there in the, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm trying again. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we can take a few minutes. Maybe, uh, uh, has anybody been able to install and open the application successfully? Yes. Ma yes, I have, uh, yes. yes. Okay. So few people have uh, been able to install it. Um, those who have not, uh, they can send a message directly uh, to um, Hari sir in the chat. Um, I will stop sharing this and I will start sharing. Okay, um, thank you. Many people have responded in the chat saying that they were able to install the application. Okay, so um, I have started sharing my screen. As soon as you click and open the application, this is what you will see. Okay, so... Uh, I will start off by uh, the first step which I will take is to save this mind map in my system. So as soon as you open this, uh, this new map uh, will come up, right? After you select OK in the dialog box, um, then you go to File and click on Save Map. Okay, and then I am going to choose, you can choose the folder where you want to save it. Um, I'm going to give the name as Global Peace and I will save it. So that's the first step just to make sure that we don't lose our uh, whatever we, you know, data and information we are adding, uh, just like we do with other uh, documents. Okay, so, so can we go ahead and save that ma'am now? Yes, you can go ahead and save it. Uh, what we'll do is actually right now ma'am, um, we will make a collaborative concept map. Okay, so since we are choosing a generic topic, uh, we, uh, we I, will, I will add all the elements to the concept map and I will show you how to add those elements and maybe few features uh, which are available in this particular tool. I will... Uh, make you familiar with that. So right now for the next uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes, you don't have to worry about uh, like you can try out certain things, but you may miss out on some features if you keep, you know, switching the screens, right? Because I'm presenting yes. this uh, thing. So it's okay. You just you can just see the screen that I am presenting so that you get to know all the features. And after about uh, 15 minutes or so, then I will give you some time to each work on your own topic. So this is just for the common uh, concept map, which we want to make together. While we are discussing it, I will create a concept map. Uh, and I will share this concept map with all of you. So you don't have to individually make this particular concept map for global peace as a topic. Uh, after we learn some of the features and after we learn 
how to add different elements in the concept map, then I will give you like maybe half an hour or how much of a time you need uh, to make your own concept map. And while you are making it, whatever uh, doubts you have, you can clarify and we can then, you know, see everybody's concept map. Is that okay, ma'am? Oh, ma'am, sure. Thank you. Okay. So this is this is just to understand the features of the uh, soft like the tool, uh, free plane tool. Um, okay. So uh, let's start by uh, listing out all like what I told you to do at the start of this session, right, which was to list out everything which you can connect to uh, this topic. Um, so you can please unmute and give your suggestions uh, for all the subtopics or any ideas which are related to global peace and I will add it in the mind map. Maybe looking at uh, the meaning of global peace. Hmm. Meaning of global peace. Okay. So to importance make an, of importance. Yeah. Okay. So to create a new node, uh, what I will do is I will use the insert button. There is an insert button on your um, keyboard, right? So if I click on this center uh, node and then I click the insert button, automatically a new node comes here, right? And I will type the word, type the word. meaning, okay? And click enter. The next step, if I want to add another node under meaning, if I want to add one more, I just have to click enter. If I click enter, then a new node comes and I will write importance and click enter. So were you able to see that? Is it better now? I just zoomed it a little bit. Ma'am, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, uh, after I clicked uh, new node, the mm -hmm. options were new child node, new sibling node. So uh, I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to like, uh, click it. Yeah. Click. So um, if you use the right click and you say, uh, like, here, right? This is what you did, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I mean, from insert, uh, from the top, uh, you know, the top of the screen, I have taken insert. Okay, okay. Here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. So as you can see there, the shortcut is given here, right? Over here, it says insert. Now insert, this is a, uh, on your keyboard as well, there is a key called insert, right? So instead of saying new child node, you can also click this insert. Now, if I was to, uh, it basically, it depends on which level you want to create the node at, right? So suppose I'm saying that global piece is my larger uh, topic and under that I want a particular uh, node then that will be called a child node so I can say edit new node new child node right so if I say new child node as you can see uh, the next one node has been created here now I need to fill this with a, a subtopic so we have already put meaning we have put importance can we put some other idea Excuse me, mummy. If you are uh, giving the title as uh, Global Place or Bloom's Taxonomy, we have uh, we are giving the subtopics down the main title. How to move it to the down space, ma'am? Yeah. So the, the um, like for example, uh, if you have Bloom's Taxonomy, what will be your subtopic? Ma'am, my subtopic is three about uh, Bloom's taxonomy. We are having three domains like cognitive domain, affective yeah. domain, and psychomotor yeah. domain. I want yeah. to bring it in the taxonomy. Yeah. So what what will happen is, ma'am, this uh, there is an option here. You can see this circle. Once you create this, once you create this node, yes, yes, there will there will be a circle that appears here, right? Mm. So I can drag it and move it down ah, if I want. Yes. 
okay like this i can move it yes, and then suppose uh, like i have given meaning here but for your uh, mind map you might be giving domains right so under global uh, sorry under global yeah you just have to you just have to keep your you just have to keep your cursor near the corner of that like this. Yes, and then yes, you yes. have to drag it and draw drag it and take it wherever you want to take it like this yes, i got it now. so so like that i can create different things so for example in this global piece uh, i have already added meaning i have added importance now the next topic um so did i you, think uh, swaraj sir asked me how to add the node did you get it sir the child node and the sibling node Hmm. so i'll just show you again uh, i have now i'm click i have clicked on global piece that's why that whole uh, that oval shape has become blue now if i go to uh, if i go to edit and i click new node and then i say new child node can you see one more has come that pink color yeah so now here i will write uh, global piece uh, let's say types uh, or let's say regions okay so this is one more node that has come now for this node if i want to make a sibling node that means uh, at the same level if i want to add another category then i can go edit new node and click new sibling node okay uh, and may put something like type is that is that okay sir now is it little clear yes sir. okay thank you so uh, what i was explaining earlier was that the easy way to do this is just by clicking uh, like uh, sorry not clicking just by hitting the enter key on your keyboard so if i go to if i go to this regions and i click here and then if i just press the enter uh, key on my keyboard automatically this new node will come and i can add another um, idea so does anybody have a suggestion like we've already covered meaning importance types regions any other ideas you can tell me i'll keep adding it and then we'll see what are the features we can uh, play around with so like this uh, first the first step we should just list out all the ideas that uh, are coming to our mind right the advantage in using a digital mind map is that we can list out all the ideas in the beginning and later on we can arrange it in a particular order for example we can later on add uh was under context or ukraine under was we can do that later i'll show you how to do it for now we can just list out many uh, ideas so that we have some content to manage yes ma'am you were asking a doubt i think somebody was asking a doubt yeah so as i as i was saying um you know right now it will be a little difficult for you to keep flipping uh, from your own screen to the shared screen so we can all spend time together on uh, this common shared screen which i have shown on uh, google meet um, and i will keep adding the topics that everybody is uh, sharing and i will show you the features after that i will give you time to try out all of that in your own um, uh, device and uh, th at that time you can you know uh, add it for your own topic for now we'll just do it for this common topic so um, uh can we add more ideas to this as uh, uh i think guru sir has messaged uh, that uh, all should access the web or uh, share at least five new ideas uh, for the concept map so it can be used to even extend our knowledge rather than only recording things which we already know so this is connected to what i was talking about earlier right which is that um using the concept map not just to you know uh, put some knowledge in a given format but to uh, expand on what we already know by you know it can be used to maybe do some new research you can add links so i will also show you how to add links in this concept map um but like i said can we first just list out i would like to add at least 20 more ideas here in this concept map so i need i need everybody to participate yes challenges okay great challenges challenges or threats mm. yes challenges and threats, threats. great uh, anything else under which uh, maybe we, we can include lots of things including uh, the pandemic uh, pandemic 
maybe global warming uh, fundamentalism great sustainability yeah uh, yeah environmental degradation right so that's that that will be better maybe we can think of uh, why peace is necessary ozone depletion yeah ozone depletion why peace is necessary uh role of international organization ma'am yeah yeah let's say yeah. that's let's say role of international organizations what kind of organizations are we talking about here uh international based in international UN, UN, un and the role, UN, of, UN, role of UN. WTO. UNO you know UNO G, uh, the NGOs role of NGOs. Bricks. B R I C S. Bricks or maybe <laughs> lots of things are there. G T S. Yeah. Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this is great actually. So we are yeah. um, we are you know able to list out many. Maybe we can also there. look at um, role of here. India uh, in global peace. Yeah. No, we we. Uh, um, promote the concept of vasudeva kudumbakam right so one more topic uh, ma'am can we uh, put that as a very right side role of india if we can probably sub uh, you know you can categorize it into human mm -hmm. consciousness as a whole because that's something i yes. think globally we should look at na hmm no we we have some of the greatest uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, spiritual leaders as well as political leaders who have been well known in uh, uh, you know promoting global peace mm -hmm. uh, be it uh, gautam buddha uh, mahatma gandhi right so uh, you know philosophers and lots of them so those things yeah, can go there. yes def yes oh, very, no, very, very proud of that too the concept of vasudeva kutumbakam can be no. right mm -hmm. concept of and uh, even our country is a great example unity in diversity so but at a again sir the non violence uh, the at a global level sorry i missed that somebody said something else again sir and the non violence ah uh, ahimsa yeah. ahimsa and non violence even uh, under india's we can have nam also this uh, non aligned yes movement. yes uh yes pinky ma'am you were saying something i was just thinking since you are talking about global peace if it everything that bounces from the west is usually accepted most so mm -hmm. if we say mm -hmm. india it might not probably anyways it's okay it's just a thought yeah thanks mm -hmm. um definitely ma'am one more topic future of global peace sorry future future of global peace features okay features of future. global peace future 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 oh sorry sir i didn't catch that future of global peace yeah now what needs to be done of peace sorry parameters of peace yeah parameters of peace ma'am how could ma'am without inserting you could able to create a dialogue box like box um which box so ma'am uh, the the fastest yeah the fastest way is that if i have to keep typing multiple ideas like for example i have clicked on region right now if i want to put something below this i just have to click enter if i hit enter on my keyboard automatically I, one new node will come and i can write a new idea uh so like for example the first node i have to enter and enter means another node will appear from where we lost where we stopped yeah from where we stopped a new node will come just under that if we hit enter on our keyboard so the same thing you can do like this also you can go to edit new node and then sorry you can go to new node and you can say new sibling node right and you can see here the shortcut is given enter okay okay 
so that is the way i am doing it like fast uh, once you practice it a little bit it's very easy you'll also be able to you know add it very quickly and right now i was just adding all the different ideas because sometimes what happens is when we first start thinking of the topic right we should not be worried about uh, okay this uh, this sub sub topic will go under this and this will go under this uh, if we start thinking about that our uh, ideas might get blocked so first we should just write all the ideas which are coming and then after that it is very easy to arrange it in the in the particular order so i will show you now how to do that okay um sunny has mentioned organization working for world peace like un global peace foundation okay so i didn't add global peace foundation now in the note that um i have just created i can add global peace foundation okay so if you feel that for now we have enough uh, you know topics uh i'll start to categorize them right so uh, let's say um i look at okay and the other way that i am uh, moving the mind map around is just if i click anywhere in this white space if i click in this white space and i drag my uh, uh, my mouse i'll be able to move it so that i can see the different parts of the map and if i want to if i want to zoom out i have to click the alt uh, i have to use the alt key on my keyboard and the down arrow or the up arrow if i click alt and up together then it will zoom in more if i click uh, if i hit alt and uh, down arrow together it will zoom out so um, i just wanted to mention that you can note this down or it is already there in that link right which um, harish sir has had shared um, the learn page which is learn how to use a uh, free plane so the same link i have just pasted it again if you keep that link open then over there also the same uh, things are given so you don't need to uh, note it down um so yeah um let's now start to maybe categorize these right now this the easiest would be this role of international organizations and under organizations we want to add all these names which we have listed so it's a very simple thing what i have to do is i have to click on this with my mouse i will click on nam for example non aligned movement and i will drag that can you see this gray highlighting which is coming can everybody see it ah oh, yes ma'am yeah no. so if i drag this node and i as soon as i see the gray highlighting Definitely. near role of organization if i leave my mouse there it will get added as a uh, sibling i'm sorry as a child of that node okay so i have already added nam now again unwto i'm taking that and i'm dragging it and when the gray highlighting comes i leave it it became a it became a child of role of international organizations same way g20 un brics right now actually this unwto should come under un right because the larger organization is un so i will drag this and put it here under un and then if i hit uh, if i hit enter i can add many other un organizations what are some of the other un organizations that we can think of unesco is there uh, undp is there yeah. lots of them are exactly so uh, unesco amnesty international amnesty international is there undp uh, maybe even un hrc which is the human yeah, rights commission human rights mm -hmm. um amnesty then, international yeah should i add that as a separate organization no that is also un organization only okay i'll add that here then Um, yeah. So, okay. 
does anybody sorry i was getting distracted because i thought uh, amnesty international was a uh, an independent organization uh, not aligned to un but uh, uh, i just want to check just that let me check now. yeah can can somebody please check that i'll it's not un organization it's a non-governmental organization it's an ngo it comes it's an NGO. An NGO. It comes it's an NGO. yeah it's a separate ngo right yeah yeah NGO, it comes NGO. Under NGO. okay so i have added it uh, under the other organization separately um, non governmental organization could it non governmental organization yeah that is ngo okay so maybe i can add ngos yes and then put amnesty under ngos then uh, there was another organization called global peace foundation maybe that is also an ngo ngo you might be so NGO, we can that's also put NGO. that yeah. under ngo okay so the, i did the same thing it was on the other side of the map i just took it i dragged it and i dropped it under ngos so as you can see now we are like getting some uh, like it's being organized a little bit right our map uh similarly for all of these um, topics which we had listed which are related to challenges and threats uh i am going to drag and drop them so global warming fundamentalism so maybe sustainability and environmental degradation uh shall i put global warming under that yeah uh yes yes global yes yes so i am dragging it and putting it under that and ozone depletion also i am dragging it and putting it under that um let's say ma'am excuse me ma'am how the gray yes. gray shade how it is coming ma'am yeah so uh, suppose i want to uh, move this back where it was right suppose i want to move ozone depletion uh, back to challenges and threats i will just click on ozone depletion and i will drag it with my mouse okay i'm dragging it with Could my mouse click, yes i will right click and drag so when i drag it and i go to challenges and threats if i like hover above that there will be the gray highlighting once the gray highlighting comes it just means that i have selected that and as soon as i leave that uh, right right click it will come back under that as a child of that node did you get it ma'am yes ma'am yes. so again same thing i am clicking on the i have to click and hold that right click i have to hold it down and move it from here to this environmental degradation the highlight will come and then i will leave it so that it becomes a child of that node okay now um where where will all these other um sub topics or ideas where will where do you think they'll go can we think about organizing the other ones which are left over mango i mean that ukraine war terrorism those are Uh, those all comes under challenges and threats. Yeah, mm. challenges and threats. Instead of main war, you just put wars. Wars, wars. Yeah. Mm. So uh, maybe context uh, of peace. Context we can give. Mm. Mm. So um, challenges and threats. I will move terrorism to this node. Okay. Then I will move wars context, also. Context. Context and uh, threats and challenges can be different. Context is the current situation. Mm -hmm. right and uh, exactly. so we're in whatever whatever is happening uh, around the world now right? exactly. including trade wars between uh, us and china sorry right? trade, the, wars. Trade, uh, trade wars trade wars between us and china or uh, mm. the uh, uh, what do you call forceful occupation of islands by china right so all those <laughs> all those things are uh, part and parcel of it the current situations that are yes there. yes and th that that's is where great. ukraine war comes in right that's great so under context i will put ukraine uh, i will also add yeah. this under context and i will yes. add this also under context so now we have these three things under context right. current burning issues that is what <laughs> current burning issues sure um
Okay. Uh, now, under meaning, we have not added anything so far. Uh, I will show you one feature which we can use right now. Um, okay. Should we should we finish uh, first the categorization and then I will show you uh, another feature. Under meaning, uh, we can put uh, mm, uh, something like uh, eco socio political justice. No, no, no. That's not that meaning. Political. Yeah, that's that's one of the meanings because if uh, there is global peace, then there will ah, be uh, ecological, that is the meaning. political, okay. social justice. Uh, okay. okay. So know. what I will do is when I show, I will show you maintaining, one. maintaining international peace. That is what global peace. No, that is what. So if there is international peace, there will be uh, ecological sustainability. There will be uh, what you call social, uh, what you call equity. Right? There will be political justice. That, so all those that, things come under that. Everything mm -hmm. comes under uh, international peace. Yes. Okay. So um, one feature which I will show you now is that uh, suppose like for something like meaning, sometimes it might be difficult to um, add sub nodes, right? Because you want to write a little, uh, let's say a definition or you want to write uh, some information, you know, over there. So one option is that you can write the entire information as a node itself. Uh, so, for example, uh, I think you were saying, sorry, uh, all the things that you said right now, no, like uh, economic, political, and social justice. Um, somebody else mentioned something else? Coexistence of all countries, huh? Yeah. Coexistence of, co of all countries. Freedom of expression. Maybe tolerance. Huh. So these are all like um, ideas. So we could add these as nodes, right? Like, um, okay. Uh, could we call these parameters rather than meaning? Because meaning uh, might, you know, apply a definition kind of thing or um, what do you what do you think? Ma'am, these are not the meanings, ma'am. These are the subtitles. It's a need for global peace, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Need or maybe the parameters, if, if these are satisfied, then we will have global peace, right? So... Uh, yeah. Let's say we can move this to parameters, right? Right. Okay. Then coexistence of all countries. And freedom of expression will also go here. And somebody mentioned something else after uh, we said freedom of expression and we also said... Mm, sorry, I missed that out. Um, Okay, we'll come back to it. If somebody remembers what the other point was, we can add that there. Somebody mentioned something after freedom of expression. Peace and recovery. Okay, peace. Um, okay. Um, so for meaning, maybe we can write a, um, like we can add a like text definition, right? So does anybody have a definition of or meaning of global peace? Would you like to, I mean, you can even uh, search for it. Harmony. <laughs> yeah. So harmony also, maybe we can add it if it's just something, parameters, right? Harmony. So one definition that I... Uh, Found and you can correct it if I'm wrong, um, is can we say that peace is the building of uh, a society where uh, people can coexist without war, violence, and fear? Yeah. Yes. The uh, Wikipedia peace. says the concept of an ideal state of mm -hmm. peace within and among all people and nations on the planet Earth. OK. So shall we use Wikipedia's definition? 
just for now we can and if we want to change it later we can always change it that's not a problem so i will also go to wikipedia and pick up um yeah Mm. Were you looking at global peace in Wikipedia, sir? Yeah. Okay. I just uh, googled go global peace definition. Okay. So it gave uh, uh, Wikipedia. As yeah. The world, concept, world peace. Itself. Yeah. The concept global of an ideal state. Peace. Yeah. Among all people and nations on planet Earth, different cultures, religions, philosophies, and organizations have varying concepts of how such a state would come. Okay. Um, so, okay, so what I'll show you now is um, if I want to add, you know, like a, a short definition like that, what I can do is instead of adding it as a child note, because even if you look at it uh, conceptually, if it's a definition, it's not really a child note, right? Um, do you know what I mean? Like uh, in other places, we have added uh, some categories and subcategories. But uh, when we talk about meaning, it's like a, a expansion of that. It's not really a, a, a subcategory, right? So what I'll do is I will right click on meaning this node. And can you see this option edit note in dialog? Yes, yes. So I will click on edit note in dialogue and I will get this little dialogue like a box, like a text box. Over here, I will paste the uh, definition which we got from Wikipedia. Okay, it is concept of an ideal state of peace within and among all people and nations on planet Earth. And I can even format this if I want. I can make it bold. I can make the font a little bigger. Okay, so I can do that and I can say, okay, once I do that, can you see this little yellow note that has come next to meaning? Yes, yes, ma'am. So if I go to that note, see what it just pops up like that. Right, so I have added some uh, text, like some definition or some expansion of the meaning uh, as part of that node itself and not as a sub node right so this is one feature which is there in this application like you can add it as a note over there um, because usually in a concept map what we are doing is we are showing hi hierarchical uh, uh, relationship right like for example if we are saying that uh, we are talking about the role of international organizations then under that uh, we have all the names of the different organizations. Like for example, under UN, we have all these organizations, right? So we're trying to say that um, UN is at one level and UN, WTO, UNESCO, UNDP, it's all those four are coming under UN, right? But when it comes, when we want to write something which is non-hierarchical like that, we can use this note feature. Can you show it once again, please, ma'am? Sure, sure. So um, let's say we want to answer this question, right? Why is peace necessary? Uh, I'll do the same thing for this node. I will just click right click. When I right click here, I get this option, edit note in dialog. Now, does anybody want to answer that question just <laughs> in brief? Why is peace necessary? I know it's a complicated question, but uh, just in a in one sentence, can anybody try to respond to that? Good life, ma'am. To be philosophical, it is state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good Global life. Peace. It is a state of mind. For for an, a, any individual as such, right? To prevent conflict between nations. Yes. But but where you are typing that, ma'am? In this uh, box, ma'am. So I'll one second. I'll close this and I'll start it again. Okay. I'll show you. If ah, if okay. I right click, if I right click here, I have to go to edit note in dialog. Mm. Okay. Once I click on yes. edit note in dialog, I will get one box here. Okay. Then I can type maybe, because maybe something that. Mm, right. It is a state of, uh, it is a, 
mental state for all individuals that will ensure a good life and no um, conflict and uh, violence. Maybe the concept of think globally, act locally. Yeah, uh, that's an interesting thing. Um, thinking globally and acting locally is necessary. And for this, we need peace. Okay, anything else? Co co for, the for the survival of human beings? Uh, coexistence. Yes, coexistence co and the survival. survival. Not just human beings, sir. Other, other. <laughs> of, of let's say all. <laughs> all, yeah. all living. Yeah. So um, okay. So we have typed all this. As I mentioned, we can select this full text like how you do in any of your text editors, and we can uh, make it bold, uh, or we can you know, change the font size. We can also add it as bullet points. Like, uh, suppose I want to just keep this uh, first thing and then under that I want to make bullet points. Then I can do this. Okay. So, uh, and then as soon as I say, okay, it gets saved as a node, note, sorry, not node. Uh, so then when I go and I hover above this uh, yellow uh, symbol, it will show me all the ideas that I have written as a paragraph inside that note. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Uh, is it uh, is it easy to follow? Am I going too fast? Am I? Um, please let me know if there's anything, uh, any feedback, like if I need to change the pace or something like that. Only if we try, we'll know the one. More than <laughs> yeah, one. yeah. So definitely now uh, we can take a, a few minutes break, like maybe three to five minutes. And then what I will suggest is that um, all of you try this much. Like we have learned a few steps. We have learned how to add new notes. We have learned how to categorize them by dragging and dropping and making them sub notes. Um, and we have learned how to add a note to a node. <laughs> so uh, maybe these three or four features, you can all try it out for your topic. Uh, so shall we do that? We'll take a, a, a break for about two, three minutes and then we can start working on our own uh, mind map. Uh, and then you can ask me whatever doubts you have. Then again, we will come back to this mind map and I will show you a few more features. Is that okay? From, 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 when, you, from, when you right click, when you right click, uh, it will show this edit note in dialogue. Mm, but it is not coming for me, ma'am. Edit note in dialogue. It's also not showing that option. Uh, madam, uh, madam, you need to like uh, select and then do the right click. Mm -hmm. Select. Edit. Select and do the right click. Yeah, once you select first, it will become blue, right? Yes, ma. Then you right click and this option will come. When I'm selecting and giving right click, it is coming that uh, cut, copy, paste, remove, edit, insert, connect, minimize mode style like that it is coming, ma'am. Mm. It's for me also. Yes. I don't get any option. Uh, yes. Sir, I, it is editing in, in blue color or you are uh, like, in your editing, editing mode, like double click. Double click, uh, sir. No, no, are you in uh, editing mode or in are you in the, uh, like uh, you are getting a uh, like blue color uh, highlighted thing. One second, I'm getting right, right. the blue, blue, blue color. Okay, can you just uh, send the screenshot of it uh, of the same uh, in the WhatsApp group so that we can help you out? Like when you right click, uh, sir, whatever options are, are showing for you. Now it is coming, just... now it is coming. Ma. Okay, okay. Again, you just right click in, uh, right -click, uh, in your uh, device, ma'am. 
Yeah, I right click. That is right. Yes, yes, yes. Are you getting this these options? Yes, ma'am. I am getting. I am also getting the same. Okay. Ma How did you get it, ma'am? <laughs> I had no details in line. One second. You will get this option. Edit note in dialog. If anybody is not getting the option, just uh, you can take a picture of that, the options which you are getting, and you can share it in the WhatsApp group. Uh, either I or Harish sir can help you. Um, others? Can I share? Others, yes, Suman sir, you can share. And it's visible. Um, just a second. Did you share a screenshot, sir? Uh, uh, I'm sharing the screen. Is it visible, ma'am? Uh, no, I think I have to stop sharing the screen. Okay. But uh, I think somebody has show, uh, shared a, um, a screenshot in the, in the WhatsApp group. Are you also getting those same um, options? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm using this. Okay. Uh, I will stop presenting. Uh, okay. So now you can present, sir. In this only, in uh, okay. Google Meet itself, you can present your screen. We can see what are the options you are getting. Is it visible now? Mm, no, sir. Not yet. Now, now is it visible? Ah, it's coming. Yes, yes. Now it's come. Okay. So, uh, uh, let's that's see. the meaning. And yes. I have used another thing for why peace is necessary. That I have used that dialogue line. Okay. Okay. To just show uh, nothing more than yes. that. That I can. Okay. If, if I use this tab, is there any problem if I use this type of tab? Not at all. Okay. Okay. No problem. You can just show how did you add this, sir, huh. so that if right anybody click. is facing a challenge. Right yeah. click, then edit. Yeah. Then edit. Then uh, here, uh, edit note details uh, in line. In line or edit yeah. note in dialogue. There are two ways of doing yes. it. Yes, exactly. that is correct. Sir. So, so only, I'm only, only get it. yeah, only difference is that in my system, it is coming directly when I right click. In huh. your system, if you right click, you have to first click on edit. Yes, uh, exactly. and then after you go to edit, you will get all the options. Edit note in dialog. Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. So, Jata, ma'am, did you get it? You have to right click. Then after that, you have to uh, click the edit option, and under edit option, you will get edit note in dialog. Then you can add some text, and you say okay. Edit note in dialog. Yes. So first you have to right click, then you have to uh, go to edit, then under that you have to go to edit note in dialog, then you can type your text and if you say okay, then that will get saved as a note. Yes, um, as Sir is saying, maybe some minor differences uh, because of the version which you are using. Um, you might be using it in Windows. Uh, I am using it in Linux. So slight difference in terms of the uh, interface, uh, the way that you go to the option. But most of the options will be there. We just have to uh, search for the corresponding uh, menus. That's it. Um, so, Suman, sir, what is your topic actually, sir? My topic is uh, demand theory from microeconomics. Okay. okay. So, uh, now, sir, from now onwards, like we'll be uh, exploring a few different features of this uh, free plane. So, if you want to go ahead and make it, uh, make your mind map for, start making your uh, concept map for demand theory. Okay. This, okay. this was just a trial which I am showing. Okay. Uh, but now each of the participants can make a mind map for their own uh, topic. So, for example, I think Sujata ma'am will make it on public administration. Um, then uh, I think foreign policy, right? Ma'am, 
foreign then, policy map. yeah so you can start making your mind map on india's foreign policy yes. then um uh, gnana sundari ma'am uh, you are making it on uh, bloom's taxonomy yes ma'am okay so you can go ahead and start making the uh, the main central node as well as the sub nodes uh, depending on your own topic yes, um yes i think many of the others have also suggested what topics they will be uh, making it on um like uh, pinky ma'am will be making on strategic management um any anybody else because finally you will be also submitting this uh, as part of your uh, uh, course uh, assessment so uh, in moodle you will be submitting this because the mind map is also one kind of e content just like how you will be uh, making you know a text uh, or a maybe video or something like that so all of these are different components of your uh, e content which you are developing as part of this course Ma'am, will we upload it as a file, like like the .dot mm file, like the extension which we are getting in case of? Yes, yes. We you can upload it like that because anybody who has installed uh, FreePlane will be able to open the .dot mm file. Uh, we will also show you how to export it to an image or a PDF or a, a text document. So you can also export it uh, as an image and uh, upload the image file. yes so after you uh, are comfortable with this uh, this much like adding all the notes and categorizing and creating sub notes and uh, you know adding a note uh, in the dialog i will also show you how to um, add images and links so that is the next step uh, once you all are comfortable with this much uh, please let me know then we can go on to the next uh, features which is adding images and hyperlinks Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, is it possible to decide the location for adding nodes? When we add new nodes, one is coming left and one is coming right. Yes. Um, so actually, sir, if you want to decide whether it is coming on the right or left, so for example, if I want to. uh move this what needs to be done if i want to move it to the right side then i have to um on my keyboard i have to hold the control uh key and the right key at the same time i have to press both so can you see that it has gone to the bottom of the right side now control Wait. plus control plus right so now what needs to be done has gone to the right side of my uh, mind map again if i press control plus left it will go to the left side of the map and if i want to move it up or down i can press control up or control down so for example if i press control up now it will move above types then again i press control up it will go up 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 like that i can keep making it go back to the position where it was and for dragging and make like if we want to change the space between two nodes what i showed earlier which is you have to go to that node and you will get one circle next to it and you can drag it like this okay uh, the recommendation which i would give is that if you want to move it to the right side or the left side please use this control right or control left because if you take it like this and drag it to the other side then the it will like later on the spacing might get uh, difficult and when you add the sub nodes there will be a problem so if you want to move it to the other side please don't drag it like this to the other side you can just press control and right together and if you want to make it go up you can press control up 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 like that until it goes to the second position or the third position depending on where you want it in your 
map. Uh, is that okay, sir? Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Just try it out, sir. See if it's uh, working. This control right, control left, and control up and down to move a particular node. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. No, I have done uh, a little, but not uh, that much of clear, but I uh, just okay. tried uh, again uh, this uh, within sure. uh, five minutes. Just I share it. You just uh, tell me is it right or not, ma'am? Do you want to share your screen, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. OK, I will stop it's sharing. Much of character, but I tried it, ma'am. No problem, no problem. We are just uh, starting with it, right? So yes, first time, yes, uh, it's OK. Like, it will take a little bit of time. But once you get used to it, then you'll be able to do it very fast. Madam, I just wanted to add one quick small thing, shall I? Sure, sure. Yeah, it's basically, you know, any skill is like learning to any skill, right? So if you're learning to drive a car, the first time you're sitting in the car, you feel extremely nervous, anxious, but keen to learn. And it takes a lot of practice to become an expert in driving the car. So driving, uh, creating a consumer, thankfully, is not so difficult. But practice will make it better. So we should make it a rule that we'll always create a concept map for everything that we create content on. Yes, um, I agree. I think that uh, the more we practice it for uh, all the different uh, you know tasks that we have whether it's uh, like ma'am i think you mentioned creating a lesson plan or a blueprint for a uh, for a question paper or uh, you know for any of the topics that we are teaching even if we don't use it in the classroom just to organize our thoughts and plan our session we can uh, use a com concept map because that will really help us to uh, get good practice um, and it's a great skill to have even you know uh, in, in this digital domain, uh, it really me, helps. Yes. Ma'am, are you able to see my? Yes, I can see your map, ma'am. That receiving that symbol is there. Number we will touch it, and the um, yes, some words will become there. Yes, yes. So if you go to that symbol, we'll be able to see the yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Knowledge of editing. Knowledge some of words editing. I have. Okay. Is it right, ma'am? Yes, yes. That's fine. Thank you so much. I'll uh, I'll develop with this one. Yeah, I think um, one arrow has been added here by by mistake. Uh, that is also a feature actually. But I will just show you how to do that. Uh, you okay. know, the second. Do you know the arrow which I'm talking about on the yes, right? Yes, yes, I think. Yes, I think. So I think that got added by mistake while you were trying. That's okay. Uh, but uh, after a few minutes, I will show you. Uh, you yes. know how to add it yes mom yes mom yeah yes so um sir is also suggesting that uh, after the initial structure you can also add some nodes like criticism of bloom's taxonomy which is connected to the critical thinking which i was talking about so um you know it's quite recently like I I'm also familiar with Bloom's taxonomy and I was using it in my teaching but very recently I attended a talk and somebody was you know giving a criticism of Bloom's taxonomy and I found that quite interesting because I didn't know that I thought it's a very widely <laughs> accepted thing but there is a crit criticism of it as well and therefore uh, I think the criticism is that it's um, all of these skills or you know it's in the form of a pyramid but it's it's not necessarily additive like that uh, I think that the criticism is that uh, any of those can be sort of interchanged or acquired at different points in time. And that is something that I found interesting. So if you want, you, you can maybe uh, read about that and then add that also in your uh, concept map. It will be very, uh, it will make it more rich. 
Ma'am, can I uh, share my slide? I have just finished. Sure, sure. Ma'am, how, how can I add extra uh, sub, sub content, ma'am? Ma'am, is, is, um, is it visible, ma'am? Yes. So, um, just one second, uh, Dr. Abdul Haji, I'll just uh, get back to you. Suman sir is presenting this, uh, what he has done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma objective. Yes. If I touch here, we'll be getting yes. a subject of a course. Then introduction also I have mentioned here. Mm -hmm. And these are the subtopics. I did not mention here, but I can do that. Just uh, okay. show the structure. Okay, okay, great. So, sir, so, uh, can you can you only show uh, Dr. Abdul Haji how you have created the sub notes? Like, for example, uh, if you uh, want to add one more note. First, uh, okay. So, if I note, if I add he, note here, then I'll just go here and make one enter. Then I can write here. Okay. And if we go for child note here, suppose here, uh, there is a two process I can use like that. Uh, Sorry, open only the main no theory of demand. That is the only dialogue box opened. Okay. Uh, so after that, I have to open the additional. Yes, sub note I can go insert, then add add node. Okay, then I insert can note. use the new child note. So check here I have okay. made one. Okay, again, I like to show, uh, select it, then go to the right click, then insert, then go for add note, then new child, new sibling note, new previous living, mm -hmm. etc. There's so many yeah, options, yeah, yeah. any one of them we can choose. Yes, so in uh, some of the versions, it looks like, uh, like I was telling you to use the insert key on your keyboard, but it looks yes, like yes. you might have to use the tab key. Is that right, Suman sir? Exactly. 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 Yeah. So in your version, you can try using the tab uh, key. That is the shortcut method. Shortcut me. uh, instead of again and again right clicking. So yeah. from the if you click on theory of demand, which is the central node, then after clicking on that, if you hit the tab uh, button on your keyboard, you will get a sub node sub for note. that. Yeah. And then if it's all at the same level you just have to keep clicking enter 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 and after you have made many suppose you decide that you want to make something a sub node then you have to drag and drop it like i showed yes. you so suppose for example we say um, under theory of demand suppose we make a um, uh, something like a course plan right suppose uh -huh. that is a child node if you could uh, hit tab and write course plan uh -huh, here like that yes so now sir has written course plan now if we want to add a uh, objective under course plan then you just have to drag objective and drop it under course plan exactly exactly right so yeah. can you just do that sir and show it you can undo it later like this. yes great objective then introduction also you can drag it and put it under course plan uh -huh. like this something like that like yes this. yes that's great so, um, Dr. Abdul, is it a little uh, clear now? You can try out oh, yeah, all these. Oh, I'm trying, ma'am. Yes, I yes, open one sub, uh, sub note. Yeah. Hmm. So, after that, I have to open another sub note from that. Yes, so if sub it is. Open, uh, yes, so suppose you got a sub note, like uh, how uh, Dr. Suman has course plan written over here, right? After you go to course plan you can click on course plan and then you just have to hit enter on your keyboard if you press enter on your keyboard then you will get a new uh, node and again you can write some other uh, point yeah, then again you yeah, click, yeah, click yeah, i mean yeah. if you hit enter then you can add another point like that you can keep adding yes, very good okay. thank you ma'am thank you someone sir Ma'am, excuse me. Yes, Dr. Dhania. Uh, when I made this thing, no, uh, when you are dragging one particular uh, uh, thing, it is going out of the uh, screen, out of that page. When so many nodes are coming and when uh -huh. we are dragging it, some nodes are going out of the screen. Uh, shall I share my screen? Yes, yes, please share your screen. We can do it together. Can you see this, ma'am? Yes, yes. 
now see actually i have created yeah. something here but uh, yes. if i drag okay. it the other one will go up so one option is you uh, first first ma'am you can maximize this particular window uh, on the top right side no of this window yeah exactly now um, as i mentioned if you want to zoom out you just have to um, use the alt and minus button together so if you press alt and minus together ma'am just try that alt and alt and minus is it working no ma'am like just click anywhere in the white space where your mouse cursor is right now just click there and then press alt and minus together or else marzi madam she can decrease the percentage right it's 100% yeah that's what i yeah. yeah that's what i was saying that you can also that's go cool. here ma'am like can you see here my uh, sorry on the top of your screen yeah 50% uh, right you can so cool. make it 75% and then um, you can go to that utility yes yes now drag it okay. little bit up see do this the other one see the stages of plz is going up this one also strategies of plz is going up ha huh, so that might be that might be because you have uh, dragged it okay so what i had mentioned just now a uh, few minutes ago if you go to strategies of plc ma'am and okay. if you uh, press just click on strategies of plc okay yes now if you do control and right arrow together okay yes now it has come to the right, right side no now you can drag it yes drag it a little bit to the center uh no okay so strategies of plc i think has come as a sub node of stages that's why it is coming like this can you drag strategies of plc and uh, uh, drop it inside product life cycle you to drag not by the neck you to drag the node itself yeah not yes, so exactly push the so node into the, project life cycle the center from the center ma'am you have to drag it yes no no you have to hold the yeah. node which you want to move and push it into the project life cycle yeah so not in the yeah take it and now drop not in the it. edge ma'am not in the edge in the center center hmm. yeah center and drag it and yeah drag it like that nodes it's moving all no Uh, oh. Just try to Sorry. click on the center of strategies. Maybe. Sorry. Just uh, try to click on the center of strategies, ma'am. It had actually come just now. Yes. Uh, no, no. It's giving you the option to edit. Control X also will work. Control X, Control V also will work. Control X, go to click on product X will Control V. Con cut page basically. Control X is cut. Yeah. Now click on product life cycle. Okay. Control V. yeah so basically it's like your microsoft word only control x control v control a control b uh -huh. all of them will work here uh -huh. and there are many ways of doing one thing so you can learn whichever way works for you i would have done what you are trying to do by simply doing control left arrow so if i do control left arrow it will become part of the root mother node it will move control, to, left arrow left arrow will migrate it from child uh -huh. node to sibling node that's what I, that's what i would do but we all can learn in the ways we learn no problem so i use control arrows a lot control left arrow right arrow up arrow down arrow are very useful for all kinds of navigation so control right arrow if you do it will become a child node of the of the node above it and okay. control left arrow will make it a parent node or a sibling node you can just play around and learn so that's a good thing about the software world that you know in your real life you cannot go around and play make experiments with people but to the software any kind of experimenting you just learn there is no problem yes sir yes sure thank you um and actually the advantage here is that um, you know when we try to draw this on let's say a whiteboard or in our in our books right uh, we really can't move things around at all once we write, draw something it's like we have to erase the whole thing or we have to like change it completely right and start all over again uh, but this software really helps us to um, while we are thinking we can just keep moving things here and there um so it really helps as i mentioned uh, in your classroom also if you are 
um, just like how I was showing you a few minutes of back when we were doing this um, concept map on uh, you know global peace uh, the same way if you are projecting this uh, mind map in your classroom as soon as the students interact with you and they answer your questions you can um, move the thoughts around yeah so, madam shall yes sharmila yes ma'am Madam, is it visible, madam? Yes, yes, it is visible. My topic is introduction to education technology, madam. Mm -hmm. For that, first, I think history of education technology. The subtopic is ancient civilization and industrial revolution and 20th century revolution. Mm -hmm. The meaning of education technology. I have tried some tool to help teachers. Three meanings of that. An object is. And types of education technology. Mm -hmm. Then some I will I have put some def definitions in that, ma'am. Sure. Yeah. Then concept of education technology. I have to put some concepts here. Mm -hmm. And what are the approaches of education technology? Hardware, mm -hmm. system, and software. Yes. And what yes. are the uses of uh, educational technology? Yes. Yes. So this is great, ma'am. Like this is the first stage which we have all um, learned right now. So you have completed it, and you have added or uh, used all the features which we have yes. learned uh, so far now going forward um, you can even add many other uh, you know topics such as uh, uh, when we talk about educational technology as a whole what are some of the benefits of it you know oh, oh. Uh, what are some challenges that teachers face while using educational technology or you know um, when we say is it there may be some kind of like debate that people have right is it a is it an advantage or is it a disadvantage? What are some advantages? What are some disadvantages? So that will extend the uh, thinking uh, into not just presenting some information, but also engaging with the content. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You know what I mean? Like uh, uh, the students will also be able to engage with it and think that, okay, um, these are this is what it means and this is its history and these are the uses but now if we go within the uses we have online learning right so they can share their opinion like do they prefer online learning or do they prefer in-person learning or do they prefer blended learning then what is the meaning of personalized learning does it really uh, does it really help or is it a is it an advantage for students or uh, what is happening currently when we say personalized learning uh, in the current education scenario or currently when we talk about ed tech companies, right? What are they doing mm -hmm. when we talk about personalized learning? Yeah. Uh, they, what are they doing right now? How are they, um, you know, commercializing uh, education? Yes, so all those things can be uh, related and added later on. Okay, madam. Okay, madam. Thank you, madam. Ma'am, yes, ma I need a, a I need a small clarification. Yes, ma'am. When we are uh, making this uh, concept mapping, the title, uh, the main topic is there, like uh, uh, education technology or else Bloom's taxonomy. We have to insert a picture in the main title. Is it possible to add a picture, ma'am? Yes, yes. So I will show that part. Uh, if everybody is comfortable yes. with the. Uh, uh, whatever we have uh, learned so far, then I will move on to adding. Ma'am, ma can I share my screen now? Yes, sir. Can I check it out? Ma'am, I, I have check the screenshot. Huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you able to see, ma'am? Okay. Oh, that is your screenshot. Yeah. I can see yeah, it. training and development. Yes, yes, so yes. This is a subtitle and they are in this. Yes, this yes. Okay. Yes, that's okay, fine. Now. So now you can try to drag and drop to make yes. uh, further sub nodes um, and okay. you can create more uh, categories and subcategories. So. Okay, this is on the job, on the job, the head of the training. And I have given some meaning also now. I have tried to give a meaning. Yes, yes. Okay. Correct, no? Good. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Um, somebody else had a question. Um, Dr. Gunashekran, yes, yes. 
Ma'am, shall I raise your hand? Yes, ma'am. Uh, when we insert... Nisha, ma'am, just, just one second, Nisha, ma'am. Yes, sir, okay. go ahead. Okay. I was uh, trying out this option of inserting image. When you uh, uh, insert image, it appears, but is that possible to hide it? For example, the children can be hidden. Uh, whenever it is necessary, we can open uh, something like that. Can we also uh, open and close the image that we have already inserted? Um... We'll just get into that, sir. The images and the hyperlinks is the next part. So we'll just look into that in the next step. I just wanted to check if everybody has completed so far. Have you been able to add the nodes and the sub nodes and all of that? Yes. You are done with that much? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. 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 Nisha, ma'am, you had a doubt? Um, I have prepared my uh, uh, mind map and uh, shall I present it? Sure. So um, Nisha ma'am will be showing her mind map and then after that we can, uh, okay, is this? Um, ma'am, this I have pre uh, prepared. Separation of parts. Is it okay. possible? Is it possible uh, ma'am? Now it's, now it's gone. Ma'am, is it visible? I'm Nisha. Yes, Nisha, ma'am. It's visible. Uh, this is my, uh, this is what I have created. It is about state. And uh, first of all, I added definition and its uh, various definitions. Uh, then major theories about state. Uh, then ancient Indian state system. And uh, this is uh, uh, different types of states. Is it OK, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Thank you. This is this is fine. Um, as we were mentioning, uh, you know, if you want to add, um, like you can make it as creative as you want. You can add some new information. You can, um, you know, engage with some current, uh, very relevant topics which are going on right now. Uh, for example, like you have mentioned types of state, right? And you have uh, mentioned the, the different countries and the different kinds of uh, uh, governments that are there in those countries. So maybe you can um, connect it to some current uh, issue which is going on in any of those countries. So when I show you the next step, I'll be showing you how to add hyperlink also. So okay. you can add the hyperlink for a uh, like an article or some news, current news on that issue. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, um, Dr. Victor, I think you had some doubt, and uh, Dr. Meena. Ma'am, can you can you share my screen? Uh, just one second, sir. Dr. Meena had some doubt. She has. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm actually Minch. My surname is. Oh, Minch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Ma'am, my question was like, when we create a sub note, suppose if I have to rearrange it, how would I do it? Suppose I've made the first point, the first uh, sub note. And mm -hmm. then the second sub node, and I need to rearrange, rearrange it. Like I need to make the second point my first point. Huh. So, how so, do go about uh, it? so actually, as I responded in the chat, and Harisa has also mentioned, you can uh, hit the control key and up or control down on your keyboard. So you you need to select the um, node. When that blue highlight comes, then you have to hold control and up. So control and up, control and down. And it will keep moving up or down. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Done. It's working, right? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Dr. Victor. So, yes, uh, sir. I, are you okay? You can share your screen if you like. And then I think Dr. Bhupati has a question. So, after yours, uh, we will go to him. Um, are you able to see my screen? Yes, able to see, sir. Ma'am, see, this is my topic, separation of powers. Mm -hmm. and, so I have done like this introduction, in the introduction, legislature, executive, judiciary, mm -hmm. then objectives of that separation of powers, that mm -hmm. meaning of separation of power, a theory of modesty, application of separation of powers in India, then again, history of separation of powers, and mm -hmm. uh, what is separation of powers, 
then mm. separation of power, uh, powers in India again it is repeated. You know, separation of powers in India that is application, mm -hmm. then conclusion, assessment, and a reference. Okay. Great. Then I will add text to over there. So, yes, yes. You, so you can add the text and all of the yeah. thing. You can try out the note feature, sir, which we have used by adding a note. So, for example, if you want to. Uh, Yes, if you want to, for example, there's a question, no, what is separation of powers? If you want to write a small uh, paragraph for that, yeah. you can use the note feature. Note. Thank you. Okay. Um, Dr. Bhupati? Well, simply, I, clip, I prepared one outline like I just want to present. Yes, please go ahead. So um, if everybody's OK with uh, this, then after Dr. Bhupati presents, we'll move on to the other features. Madam, you uh, told now uh, that uh, sub note. Yes. Okay. You told that extra sub note, sub note we are writing for explanation. Mm -hmm. How you are to take, ma'am? Can you want to take it? Yeah, just a second. Uh, let uh, Dr. Bhupati present, and then I'll yeah, show. Please, please. OK, OK. Uh, Madam, this, this is concept called uh, social mobility. There are. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some theories, concepts, and factors uh, of uh, social mobility. Yes. Uh, the factor under factors we given as social, economical, political, and natural factors. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, uh, there are types of social mobility. One is vertical and uh, horizontal mobility. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for examples, uh, some global context and the Indian context as well. So and and the, also, I try to uh, insert one image. Sorry, I uh, your screen is gone, sir. Now it is working, madam. Yes, now it's back. It's back. Simply, I try to uh, add an image uh, in the central. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so the image which you have added, I'll be showing that feature now, sir, for the others. Uh, what you can try and do is uh, you can um, you can try to make some uh, sub nodes, uh, sir. Like now, everything is coming out from the main node, right? So yes, um, under, uh, I think, social, economic, political, and natural. Is it supposed to come under factors? And yes, but under factors only I give. Huh. So uh, what you but, can do is you can drag this factors. Uh, if you go to factors, that circle will come on the corner. Okay. Just go, go to factors. At the corner, you'll get one circle. If you go up to factors, yes, you'll uh, just take. If you take your mouse to the corner of factors, you'll be getting one circle. So. Okay, we'll try it, but that's all. Yeah, then you have to move that and uh, you can drag social and put it under factors. So can you try that, sir, right now? Uh, take, uh, click on social. It's not uh, I think so. Yeah, you uh, on social, sir. If you click on social, yeah, just uh, click on that and drag it and drop it in factors. Yes, yes. Drag it like that, yeah. So then it will come under factors. Okay, okay, that would like done. that, like that, yes, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Like this. And if you go to the right corner, factors, just go to the right corner, you'll get a circle. Now yes. you can drag using that circle, you can drag it to the left side. Drag it to uh, the left side. Because social, political, natural, economic is all coming on the left, right? So yeah. just drag it to the left side of the whole mind map. Yes, yes. Great. So now it is arranged uh, well. Um, OK, so what I'll do now is I'll start uh, presenting my screen again, and I'll show the two features which I mentioned. Okay. Adding okay. Thank, you, Thank you, Madam. Thank you, sir. So I'll show the features of uh, adding the image and adding the uh, link. So are you able to see my screen? <laughs>
Okay, so um, now first thing is if I want to add an image, what I will do is I will right click whichever node I want to add it to. Um, for example, if I want to add, I can add it to the center or I can add it to, let's say, meaning uh, any of the nodes, right? Suppose I select meaning, I have to right click and I have to go to this option, add image. Okay, and I have one image in my desktop. You can go around anywhere in your, um, wherever you have stored the image in your uh, system. Select the image from there and click on open. So this image has come now over here, but it is very large. So suppose I want to make the image smaller. I just have to click on the image here. You can see the boundary of the image will appear and I have to drag it from the side and make it smaller. So yeah, there we go. So now the image is a little smaller. Um, so that is the option of adding the image. Um, one more thing is, suppose I want to add, um, like suppose I want to add a hyperlink, then what I can do is, as uh, someone suggested about adding like the definition from Wikipedia, right? Now, um, I will go to my browser, I will select, copy the uh, link, the, the link to the page where I want to hyperlink, then I will click here. And I will say link, go to link, and I will say add hyperlink. Okay, and the same shortcut usually which we use in Microsoft Word or in uh, LibreOffice and even in our email sometimes if we want to add a hyperlink, we use control plus K. So that will also work. So I will click here and I can paste the link. Can you see this? The Wikipedia link, en wikipedia slash world piece. So this is the page on Wikipedia. And if I say, okay, then the hyperlink gets added. The way that I know that there is a hyperlink that has been added is by this red arrow. And then you can see this um, cursor is changing to a finger, right? So that means that if I click on that, then it will open in my browser. If I click on that, the link will open in my browser. So these are two things which you can try. Uh, again, I'll give you around, you know, maybe five seven image, minutes to try it. Ma'am, please, can you show that images once again, please? Sure, I'll just show you again. You have to right click here. And just like we used edit note in dialog, there's an add image option. So if I want to add an image here, for example, in the center, I will go there, right click, and then select this add image option then i will select the image from my system so right now uh, it is like desktop i can go to any other folder uh, wherever i have images um suppose I'll, I'll take the same image which i was using uh this piece image and it has come really large right it's uh, covering some of the writing here on this side so what i can do is i can go to this image and you'll see the boundary of the image will appear. And I have to drag it and make it a little smaller. So then the image becomes a little smaller. I think this is for like more appealing, right? Vis visibly, it looks better in this size. So I can drag and uh, reduce the size of the image. The other option which I showed was the adding a hyperlink option where I have to right click and go to link add hyperlink okay or i can just do uh, while i have selected the uh, node i just have to press control and k together automatically the box will open and i can add the text in that box and click ok then this red arrow will come and once i click on the red arrow it will take me to the web page wherever i have whichever page i have hyperlinked so you all can try this out. If you have any questions or doubts, you can uh, ask. Ma'am, can I show it? Already I've done it. OK, sure, sir. That is the diagram, what I have added. Is it visible, ma'am? 
Yes, I can see the screen. That's the diagram. I can increase it. Mm -hmm. I can reduce also. And here yes. I have added hyperlink, but it is a video. Uh, okay. Like that, right click, then insert, then add link. So mm -hmm. hyperlink uh, that is the two things. One is URL, another is file. Here I have added URL. Yes, yes. yes. Click here. Now check uh, the another uh, that is YouTube page will be open and video will sure. on. Exactly. So this is how. Um, Okay, like the, okay. Uh, in such way, exactly. uh, I have done it. Exactly. So now, uh, so for, since you have already done it, for example, we can show uh, the others that suppose we want to add a file. How will we add a file uh, which is already in our system? So for example, you already have the course document or you already have the lesson plan or you already have some uh, notes which yes. is saved as a document or a PDF in your system, then you can right click and say add link, uh, yes. the file link. So you can just show that also, so that, that will okay. be helpful for everybody. Okay. Just, there is a, and just a minute. Ma'am, I have a small problem in adding image, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The When I'm, uh, I'm uh, clicking the right click and I insert the image, uh, it is coming as the map must be saved before you can set an image by file chooser. It is coming like that now. Yes. Okay, so you can just go to file and uh, click on save map or you can use the shortcut control S. <clears throat> okay, like, is it visible ma'am? Already I've added one file. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you want file, there's some feedback. Yes, yes. So you have added that folder itself. So when we click there, it will directly go to that folder in your system. Exactly. exactly. Correct. Um, so this is also very helpful for your uh, teaching and your classes. Like, for example, for a particular lesson, you have saved everything related to that lesson in one folder in your system. Then you can uh, link that folder to the mind map itself. So while you are teaching, suppose you are using the mind map, immediately you can uh, click on the hyperlink, it will. Sorry, there's a box. Right? Yes. Yes. Sorry, just give me one second. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yes. So, uh, the others also, you can try that out, whichever topic you have selected. If there is a file which is uh, or a folder, you know, which is related to that topic, which you have already saved on your system, then this is a good way to link it so that while you are teaching, you don't have to worry about going, you know, to a different screen or anything. You can directly just click here and open the file, which uh, you want to show to the students. Yes, exactly. You can even, you can even hyperlink a presentation. Like suppose you have made slides for your, yes. video. For your exactly, video. a video or a presentation, which you have made uh, for your, uh, topic you can just click there yes suppose yes. i think you may have created some e-content already because uh, as part of this course also you are making e-content related to the same topic right throughout yes, the yes, course i'm preparing it is not done yet but I've already okay so prepared. once everything is prepared uh this by, by using hyperlinks this mind map uh, the concept map file can become your main file and from this file, you can have links to all the other uh, other things which you have created. For example, even if you have uh, created a, uh, you know, many people might be using Google Slides. So if you have created some slides in Google, you can just give the Google Slides link in this mind map for a particular unit or a particular um, chapter. And then um, that uh, Google Slides will open directly from the mind map. Exactly. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I would like to ask Dr. Uh, Suman Chakravarti, like adding how to because I'm not getting you know the op after I'm clicking insert, I'm not getting I'm not getting that option like uh, adding file. I'm just getting uh, adding image or hyperlink. Okay, no, so. there should be uh, there should be adding file, adding URL, and uh, image. These three things. So under hyperlinks, sir, you should get two options. One will be URL and one will be file. file. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So once you go to uh, insert uh, hyperlink, then under that you will get one option which is file and one option which is URL. In your uh, in the Windows uh, version, it might be slightly different. That's why I asked uh, Suman sir to show it. 
in my version it comes in the uh, in the menu itself but in suman sir's version you know he had to click on insert link like that so just those minor differences are there i think he's showing it again so yeah you have to right click then you go to insert then you go to add link okay and then you get two options one okay. is add hyperlink in brackets it will be fine and one is add hyperlink url okay and you also have a remove link option so suppose you have already added some link and you want to change that or you want to remove it altogether you can remove it from that using that option okay ma'am thank you thank you suman sir okay thank you thank you suman sir so uh, guna shekran sir had the uh, uh, doubt that uh, is it possible to hide the image and open when it is needed um in my version that option is not there sir right now i don't think that option is there um maybe you know in further versions that might be there as an option uh but what we can do is we can add a image from our uh, system like how suman sir added a file uh you can add an image file so then when you click on the hyperlink only then the image file will open in your system uh until then there won't be any image there so um like how sir had attached some folder right like that if you attach an image file file as a hyperlink uh i'll just show you that huh give me one second i'll present and show so okay so for example if i want to add this image as a hyperlink right so i will click here uh, and i will go to link okay and i will say uh add hyperlink right and then from here i will choose this image as the hyperlink and say open so then can you see this arrow has come here now if i click on the arrow then it should work yes so this image has come now in my image viewer on my system right um okay ma'am you might have some other kind of image viewer it will come there so then i can right click here and remove this so that only when i want the image i will click on this arrow and that image might open in the um in this uh, image viewer so suppose this is a chart or this is some kind of uh, explanation which you want to show the students later or you want to uh keep it as an optional thing uh you know uh if if time permits you want to show it then you can uh keep it as a hyperlink instead of a direct uh, image insertion there is that okay yes madam thanks yeah um so the other thing we need to remember i think harish sir has mentioned that we should not change the path of the file because we might get an error um what happens is if we share our mind map file with multiple people then um they will be able to see the mind map file but if there are any local images that you have added that they will not be able to see because it is a local image right it is saved on your system so in that case it would be better to directly link the image which is there like from whichever source you have got it like if you have got it from a web page or if you have got that image from something online or you can upload that image you know online and give the uploaded uh, link because then it will be easy for everybody to view it uh, through the mind map file rather than uh, having it on your local system because suppose you add all these images and send me the file um i will not be able to open those images because those particular things are saved only in your system
So usually if I'm making a mind map just to uh, present to, uh, you know, uh, during my class, then it's absolutely fine. I can use local images. Uh, but if I want to make a mind map file, which I will be sharing with multiple people, or if I will be sharing that mind map file in um, like a group or by email, then I would always prefer to use the hyperlink option rather than the insert image uh, option. And I will use the URL uh, option in the hyperlink, not the local file. OK, so you can all try out these features if you have any doubts. Uh, we have just about 20 minutes more. So uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask. Uh, otherwise, I will move on to just a few more features. I don't want to load you too much. Uh, and you don't have to worry because uh, the learn page, which we have shared, the link we have shared with you, all the steps are given for each and every feature. There are a few other things like you can add icons, you can make connections. So I will try and show you one or two of those features. Um, but I don't want to, um, you know, burden you too much right now. You can always refer to the notes and you can keep trying out these additional features. Uh, many of the basic features, I think all of you have, you know, uh, good practice now. Uh, Dr. Victor is saying, can you just repeat the add a note? Yes. So. Yes. So for instance, um, sir, if I want to uh, add a note to, let's say, future of global peace, right? This node, I want to add a note. So I have to right click and I have to say edit note in dialog. This is in my version. In your version, you will get a uh, you will get an option to I think insert and then you can click the note option. Uh, am I right, Suman sir? Yes, ma'am. So, which option do you have to select after right clicking? Uh, to add note. Yes. Okay. Uh, like that, if we use uh, some add note. Uh, edit. Insert. Edit to. Edit. edit option, yes. So yes. after you right click, you have to select the edit option and then you will get so edit notes. note in dialog. Yes. Uh, dialog. Also lines. Uh, yes, you can dialogue. also uh, yes, you can also edit uh, attribute in line or one of those options. Uh, is that okay, Dr. Victor? You can just try it out and see. OK, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you these uh, two more uh, features, and then uh, I'll give you a chance to try it out. I also want to show you how to export this ma map as an image. Um, so I will show that as well. Um, OK, so uh, for example, uh, now, OK, mm. can you see all of these symbols here on the side? Yes, ma'am. On the side, you'll, uh, on the side panel, yes. you'll have all these symbols. So if I want to add a symbol, like for example, uh, in among all these nodes, uh, whichever one is a question or some discussion point, suppose I want to um, add a question mark. So what needs to be done? I will select what needs to be done and I will go to this side panel. Can you see all many, many symbols are there? Right? I will select the question mark symbol. So that gets added to the node. Uh, similarly, if I want to, uh, if I want to add a, you know, uh, there are some flag symbols, there are some uh, 
there's a symbol for like ideas so for example a future of global peace if you want students to discuss and uh, for them to come up with different ideas for how what is the future of global peace how can we ensure global peace in the future you just put a symbol here you know like the the bulb will come so that when you're looking at the mind map and you are using it uh, it's easy for you to navigate across uh, it and easy to convey a certain message like you can mention that you know wherever there is a question that means it's it's a discussion point which we need to discuss then suppose there is a light bulb symbol that means that uh, we will have uh, the students will discuss in smaller groups or they will pair up and you know discuss and then present something to the class or like share some ideas with the class so these are just simple you know examples of where you can use such things there's also a star symbol so maybe star symbol can be used for like very important points then you know um let's say we are talking about challenges and threats right so you can add a danger symbol to challenges and threats right just to make it a little more um, rich your your uh, concept map as well as more informative uh, and more intuitively you can navigate the concept map so one option is like we said we can add some images and the other option is to add these kind of symbols to help you navigate the map as well as me, convey some meaning yes ma'am the symbol i added here it is coming before i have to delete and get it to back side how it do so the symbol will always come on the uh, left sir like before the starting of the text but the symbol be... position oh. is there only so it will always come over oh. there at the starting point because yeah. initially so, writing the what is meaning means meaning after only the question mark will come but it is so yeah 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 no that is if we are writing it as like text but uh, okay. if we are adding this symbol that is like a uniform thing that all the symbols will always come okay, at okay. the starting point um, okay. so that if, when, when you look at it for the first time you will know what it is uh, so that is the adding symbol that is one feature um does anybody have any question about this ma'am i couldn't get the symbols ma'am how did you uh, get those symbols ma'am yes ma'am mm -hmm. Okay, so my there is. Mm, I'll just check view. Just. Uh, just left click. Le the, left uh, there is an arrow. Left side it will come. There is an arrow mark there to click that. In view, what? Uh, this one. Let me have to go to file and view or where we have to go. Ah, uh, madam, it will be like in an external window. Yeah, can you just yes. see an arrow mark? Yeah. You will probably have this arrow mark, ma'am, which I'm showing. This one, which is here. So it's like move the arrow small. mark, right? Move right yeah. side. Yeah. Have to drag that arrow mark to the right. If I make it very okay. big, then I will see all of them together. If I make it a little small, it will come like uh, one below the other. Did you get it, ma'am? No, ma'am. Uh, can yes, you uh, it, ma can you present your screen, Sujata, ma'am? We'll try Hi, to. Sir. Are you presenting, ma'am? Ah, yes, ma'am. Is that visible, ma'am? Yeah, it's coming up. Yes. So, can you see the arrow in the corner of your screen, ma'am? There's one black arrow. That is undo, ma'am. That no, is... no, no. Uh, down, ma'am. Down in the center. The left center. side. Left side corner. Center. Yeah. Can you drag that arrow? And yeah. Yes. now you're getting the symbols okay so um that is done the last feature which i will show you very quickly take that and paste it here ma'am 
So you just need to click on the, it's already come, ma'am. See, uh, because you had selected that avoiding war node, when you click the star, it comes there automatically. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Um, thanks, ma'am. So uh, the last one, which I will show you now, because we are running short of time, we just have 15 more minutes. I just wanted to show you one um, interesting feature, which is uh, linking between different nodes. So for example, if I have role of international organizations and I want to link it to the future of global peace, like what uh, to be able to connect what might be the role of international organizations in the future of global peace. So I need to, yeah, I need to click on, Sorry. Okay, so I need to select both of these and click on control. So I will select one role of international organizations. Then I will uh, hold the control key on my keyboard. I will select future of global peace. And then while, while holding down the control key, I will pre press the L, the L button in your keyboard. I will press L. So now can you see that arrow has gone? So suppose I find this inconvenient, like the arrow is coming all the way from the right side of the concept map to the extreme left. What I will do is I will press control and left so that the whole role of international organizations goes to the top of, top left side of my concept map. So now it is easily showing the arrow. It's on the same side, right? And this arrow can be made smaller. Can you see this? I'm just adjusting the arrow so that it is going from, if I minimize this, you can see role of international organizations in the future of global peace. So you can just try out this feature. Um, the symbols as well as this arrow. You need to select. You suppose I want to draw another arrow now between regions and future of global peace. I will select this regions. Then I will hold the control button on my keyboard and I will select the future of global peace. Now both have become highlighted. And then if I uh, along with the control button, if I press the L button on my keyboard, I will get one more arrow. And then I can adjust the uh, length of the arrow or the shape of the arrow a little bit. I can even make it go like this. Yeah. Is that okay? You can all try that out. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely fine. Um, don't worry if you're facing any difficulty, it's, it's normal, it's completely natural that it will take some time to get completely comfortable. Uh, we will be there to uh, support you even after this session, so you don't need to worry that, oh my god, there's only uh, this much time for me to learn an application, it's not like that. Um, after this session, you can go through the link which we have shared, the learning link. So while you are practicing, you can keep referring to that link. In case you have any doubts, you can post the doubt in the group, which we have for this uh, refresher course in the WhatsApp group. Uh, so you can send us a message saying we, you have a doubt, then you know we can always get on a call or we can uh, message you directly independently on WhatsApp and clear your doubts. So um, there's no need to you know worry that uh, you will not get a chance to learn it completely. This is just so that uh, we can introduce you to this tool uh, and give you a chance to, you know, try it out. And as part of this course, you can create some resource thing. So as you can see now, the map which we have all made together, which is on global peace, there are various features that have been added. There are different aspects that we have explored. And um, there is still a lot more which we need to add. 
um for example when we were talking about this challenges and threats right war and terrorism and the pandemic and fundamentalism uh we can go so much more into detail about the uh, debates around this right uh on uh, even even about ahimsa and non violence um i have added these two categories negative peace and positive peace uh it's something which i found very interesting when i was learning about uh, you know when i took a course in peace studies so um you know we can we can learn and explore more and then add so much more information to uh, the map that we're working on uh, there are some other features like i was just exploring here suppose like we have this note here uh, so, and it's it's popping up only when we hover over there um i think this is something which uh, guru shekran sir was asking about the image uh, that you know it will only come when we click over there but if we want the uh, note to be there permanently we can go to view and then there's an option notes display notes in the map so that means that the notes will permanently be visible so now the next step which i will show you is uh, to export this Uh, mind map into an image so it will be very useful to have the notes visible like all the notes should be open and the note should be visible so that uh, the symbol will also be there as well as the text which you have written in the note will be visible for anybody who you share the uh, image with so now i will go to that next part which is exporting the mind map as an image so we will go to file export map and you will get this kind of dialog box now you choose the location where you want to save it just for now i am going to save it in my desktop uh and you can see global peace mind map and you can see all the formats here so png or you see all these formats are there there is svg png uh if you scroll up you will get odt doc um odt is just like your uh, word document file then you also have html here then you also have yeah these are all the different uh formats that you can use you also have pdf um so this is whichever format you feel will be more useful uh for you you can export it to that format for now i will just select png and i will click on save okay so i'm going to repeat one more time yeah i'll just repeat it yeah so this is my mind map i will go to file uh and there will be an ox, uh, export map option so i have to click on export map then i will get the usual dialog box which comes for saving any file um now i have already saved it as png so i will select a different format like i will select the pdf option okay so i want to save this as a pdf i have selected desktop itself to save the file and you can see here it has come right global peace mind map dot pdf that is the name of my file and the type of file is pdf now if i click on save it gets saved okay now i go to my desktop and i have global peace mind map png can you see this sorry are you able to see this yes ma'am okay so this is the image file now this becomes easy if we want to share it with anybody like suppose we are not sure whether somebody has the free plane software installed uh, because if we share the mm file it will go as a dot mm file right if we want them to edit the file then we have to share that format and we have to tell them that please install free plane so that you can also edit this file but suppose we have created this as a resource and we just want to share it with them to um as a resource so that time uh, we we just have to export it as a uh, as an image and we can share this image easily also the file of the image will be smaller so we can share this image in a whatsapp group or we can share it as a pdf as well so this was the image and if i go back to my desktop i have also a pdf 
so i can open it as a pdf can you see this it's a little bit clearer right in the pdf if i go to view presentation mode see i can i can see the whole thing in one uh, screen and um suppose i am using it in you know multiple classes or if uh, if i want to insert it in some other resource like suppose i am making a slide presentation and i want to insert this image into that slide presentation then this uh, image file right this image file itself can be inserted into the slide presentation do you think that will be useful yes definitely ma'am definitely ma'am that is file we have two of export map and export branches which one you have to select yes you have to select export map if you want the whole map if you want only the branches and the uh, details then you can do the branches but usually we will export the whole map okay okay ma'am will the hyperlink work uh, when we share the pdf yeah so if we look at my um one second it should work as a pdf usually if it's an image the hyperlink will not work but if it's a pdf it should work i'll just check that ma'am is in pdf video link also working in pdf did you try it sir is it working yes sir video link is also working in pdf ah, yeah so in a image file it will not work but in the pdf the link should work yes yes exactly uh so would you like what to share your screen word, and show that what about the word it will be open ma'am the note we are giving the definition something yes in pdf it will be open yes. in pdf or not you have to first click open and view a note like Second. how i showed ma'am is it visible yes yes we can see your screen now that is pdf uh, look that is hyperlink is clear hmm. and what This hyperlink for video and image is also clear as usual. So, but this is your MM file, right? Uh, have you exported this to a PDF? Yes, yes, I can. Ah, could you just show us the yes, PDF yes, which yes, you? Just a second. I have already made. That is uh... okay. Again, I like to show. Hmm. Yes, you can go to file. Right. Then export map. Export map. Then PDF. Save. Yes. Uh, Only, already we have theory of demand. Ah, okay, can I like? It? It's inside that folder actually. Yes. Now you have to that, go. That to is that PDF. is open. Yes, this is the PDF. If you click on the link uh, hyperlink, does it open? Oh no, there is a. Uh, it is a static page, my sir, madam. So you can't use the note window as well as the uh, links. Sorry, sir. Yes, Harish sir. It's a static page where you can't use the okay, uh, hyperlink. Okay. As well as the okay. So as I showed, if you open the note, uh, if you open the notes, um, so man sir, if you can go to your MM file, uh -huh. there That will be an cool. option to view. Like uh, if you go to view on yes. the top, if you go to view yes, yes. Uh, notes, go down to notes. controls right down at the bottom there's notes uh notes yes and then uh, it says display notes in map the fourth option yes display notes yeah if you click that then in your map where wherever you have notes right like on the top for introduction you have a note yes that yes. note will uh, become visible then when you export it as a pdf along with the uh, nodes even the note will be shown so i think that was the doubt that uh, agrana soundri ma'am had okay. yes ma'am yes ma'am so after you do this after you say view notes uh, make the note notes visible then if you save it as a pdf when you open the pdf even the notes will be visible Yes, like that. Okay. Like that. <coughs> What now, the, now the PDF has the notes also. Notes, notes. Yes. Yes. 
the only thing is uh, as harisa was saying i think the uh, hyperlinks you, will not yeah, work it's not working yeah not the working. hyperlinks will not work i mean is there any technique uh, if we uh, possible to work this hyperlink um, i'm not sure actually if you share the mm file itself then it becomes very it's easy okay. so mostly what we do is uh, with our students when we use uh, free plane and uh, with our um, colleagues also when we use it uh, we ensure that everybody has free plane installed so it's always better to share the original mm file so that all the um, links everything works and yes. suppose they want to make some change or they want to share it back with you after giving you know some comment some feedback uh, some changes they can always immediately make the changes and share it back with you otherwise they have to again type the uh, feedback separately and then tell you please insert it in this 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 place <laughs> so that becomes a little bit difficult so yes. we generally encourage everybody to have free plane so in your own institution with your colleagues or with your students you can definitely encourage them to install free plane so that uh, you know it becomes easy to share uh, and collaborate and work on it together um yes. so i hope um, i hope that was helpful uh, it's 1 o'clock now so if anybody has any questions i hope you are clear on what you have to do uh, for your assignment uh, everything has been put up on moodle do you have any questions about what needs to be submitted and how ma'am I yes. have exported that map, ma'am. But it, yeah. I couldn't open it. Uh, I have saved as .dot mm file. Mm -hmm. I have even installed free plane also, but it mm -hmm. is not opening. Once if I said word or something else, it is just like text file only. It is opening. Hmm. So, ma'am, actually, to save it as an mm file, you just you just have to click the save option, or you have to click the save as option. Uh, only to export it as a PDF or a image or something like that then you have to use the export option for the regular mm format you just have to click the save as option save as suppose if a pdf is not showing ma'am i said i clicked export uh, uh, map mm -hmm. it's not showing pdf me uh, it should be there ma'am in the drop down near uh, png there will also be a pdf option okay ma'am i'll try ma'am just just have a look um with regards to your uh, assessments and uh, submission on moodle mm -hmm. does anybody have any doubt okay so uh, you will have to submit uh, this also as part of your uh, pdl which is your personal digital library where you are submitting all your e content including the video which you will be learning to make i think the next session which rakesh sir will be conducting he will show you how to create videos also so please work a little bit on your mind map if you get time today because it will be very useful for your video session uh, sir will be showing you how to make a video uh, to narrate and explain the mind map uh, as you are creating it or uh, once you already created it you can Uh, add a voice over to explain it and then make that into a video so uh, suppose you're not having a live session with your su students but you want to explain a concept to them and you want to create a video for that uh, one method is to use presentation slides the other method is to of course uh, you know create a mind map like this and uh, uh, while you're explaining the mind map uh, you can uh, add elements and that can become a video so i hope that that will be very useful for you um thank you so much uh, for interacting and for participating uh, in the session and i really had a good uh, time thank you so much